Hey guys, so this might be slightly long, but I'm going to try to um, hurry up as fast as possible. So I had my 38 week appointment today. Didn't go exactly as I was hoping. Um, it was kind of disappointing. In fact, like I just kind of felt like it ruined my day. Um, we'll get into that all in a second, but. So yeah, um, as far as symptoms go, nothing new. Um, I've had a couple more contractions. They were kind of hurting last night, and I actually was timing them. And then they died down after like an hour or two. Um, well, probably about three hours actually. And I was able to go to sleep. And um, so obviously nothing, obviously nothing happened. <laughs> But um, definitely, probably the strongest ones I've had, they weren't bringing tears to my face or anything like that, but they were kind of uncomfortable. And, um, yeah, and I, I thought that that was like a good sign that something was like happening, you know, and apparently not. So, my appointment today. Um... <laughs> first thing that they did, of course, was weigh me, and I hit the 200 mark, which was not exciting. 200 and a half a pound. <sighs> My whole goal this whole pregnancy was not to hit 200. I was fine with 199.9, but not 200, because it just seemed really large to me. <laughs> um, so I've gained... 26 pounds this pregnancy and um, yeah not exciting especially considering the last couple weeks or the last couple appointments I've actually been dropping like a pound and so to go up five pounds from last week because I was 195.5 last week and that and I weighed in at 200.5 excuse me this week so, I don't know. I don't know if I was, like, I'm a little water retentive today or what, but that wasn't exciting. <sighs> um, anyways, I was, the funny, kind of funny thing was, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, this is going to be a great appointment. And I was kind of kidding, but um, it took me seriously, and it was not a very awesome appointment. I, uh, the nurse took me back. Checked the baby's heartbeat, which was fine. Um, I don't, I didn't ask what the actual um, rate was. I usually do. I don't know why I didn't, but <sighs> so baby's heartbeat was fine, and she checked my blood pressure. It was a bit high. Uh, she told me not to like worry or anything, but to just kind of keep an eye out um, for like blurred vision or. Um, extra water retention, puppy swollenness, you know, uh, just that way, if it did go into, like, the preeclampsia sort of side, that, um, it, it wouldn't, you know, like, to catch it. So, by the way, she wasn't, they weren't really concerned, because it wasn't that high. Um, so that was that. Then she measured my stomach, and my stomach, for the very first time since I've been pregnant, measured right on. Um, I measured 38 weeks today, so. Oh, I guess that was, wasn't horrible. I mean, either way, really, it wasn't a big deal, but. Anyway, so, then she left me, the doctor came in, and he, you know, he's like, I have to admit, I was kind of surprised that you weren't dilated at all last time. He's like, I don't want to get your hopes up, but I'm sure something will be, you know, happen in this time. And I was like, thank gosh. He asked me if I wanted him to go ahead and kind of stretch out my uh, cervix if it was dilated. And I said, sure, go ahead. And laid me back. And he's like, okay, pressure, just like last time. And I was, I was ready for it this time, so it didn't hurt quite as bad. But, um... It took a second, and he kind of moved around and shifted, and then he had me shift a little bit, and he was like, wow, your cervix is really far up there. Like, he could barely reach it. Finally, he got it, and it's still completely closed. 
He says it's thinned out a little bit more. It went from 50 to like 70%, and that's like the only progress I've made. It's not, I'm not dilated at all, he said. And it's really disappointing because I was for sure I had lost some mucus plug last, um, last, well, you know, a couple days ago. I was telling you guys about that, and obviously I haven't, because you can't lose it if you're not dilated. So, yeah, that's a bummer. <laughs> so, I was kind of disappointed, but I was like, well, you know, whatever. <sighs> I'm getting induced next week anyway, so it's not going to be a huge deal. And then I found out that it kind of was. Um, the next thing he did, I, ha I asked him to feel around and kind of see how big baby was. And he felt it felt my stomach and um, kind of smiled and was like, hey, this is good. And I was like, well, what? And he, um, he said he had slowed down. He wasn't um, as big as he had or as, as bigger. Um, you know, he's been measuring like three, it weight wise, like two to three weeks heavier than he, than the average baby all this time, you know, and, um, so he felt around, he was like, well, it's not quite that much this time, but he's still measuring bigger. Um, the average baby, I guess, is between six and a half to seven pounds right now, and I am right around seven and a half pounds, a little more than maybe. Uh, he is still head down though, so that's, that's exciting, I guess, but... So he's between seven and a half and eight pounds, uh, and then he said to go ahead and add between a half a pound and a pound, and that'll be about his birth weight. So I'm thinking I will have an eight to nine pound baby, and um, that's fine. That's better than a ten pound baby. <laughs> Still a little big, but um, you know. So, anyways, I. So he did that, and I was like, okay, that's that's good news, and I was starting to feel a little bit better, and then he was like, so, are you still planning, or are we still okay with doing, are you still okay with having me rupture your membranes next week? And I said, yeah, and he said, um, since Cody has slowed down a bit growing, he said he'd feel okay with letting me go until my due date. He wouldn't let me really go past that because then we really would be having a 10 pound baby. Uh, maybe more. <laughs> but um, he said if I wanted to wait an extra week to see if my body would dilate anymore or or at all, <laughs> or my cervix would, you know, shorten or not shorten, but, you know, come down or whatever, uh, we could and he'd be okay with that now. And, um, I kind of asked him, like, if there was much point in waiting. He told me if he had to guess, judging by how I am right now, and that I've made, like, pretty much zero progress in the last week, he would guess that not only would I meet my due date if I were to hold off, but I would probably go in, um, overdue, he says. And... And he told me, he was like, I can't say this for sure, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised if you just never went into labor naturally. And he couldn't really tell me why, as far as, like, it's nothing broken with me. I'm just not dilating or doing anything. So, <sighs> it's weird. Um, <laughs> It's probably, like, nothing really major, but it's it's got me kind of, like, a little bummed a little down because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I'm broken or something, like I'm, I'm not working like I should be. Um, I have, I've met multiple girls um, on a site that I go to, I've mentioned it before, that are due the same day I am and they, um, first baby, second babies, you know, I know it's different with the second one, but even just the ones that are that were having their first have either already had them, or they are, you know, like, three centimeters dilated, and they're, like, almost all the way effaced, and, you know, 
I don't know. So I just feel like I'm kind of broken or something. Like, ugh. Because nothing's happening. And he was like, wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> and so he gave me a couple choices. And this is going to end up being a two-parter, it looks like. Sorry. So he gave me a couple choices as far as if we go ahead with the induction on Wednesday, which I told him we might as well because I figure I could wait another week and then it's just um, putting off an induction, you know? I mean, I guess in that extra week I could miraculously, like, do something, but if he's not expecting it and I just, I'm fine with doing it at 38 weeks. I feel like the baby will be, or 39 weeks, the baby will be healthy. It's only a week sooner than my due date and stuff, so... Um, I've told him that we'll go ahead and do it, and he's given me two choices as far as the induction and the dilating and everything goes, and, um, I'll go ahead and stop this and start it uploading, and then I will finish in part two, so, um, stay tuned.